Hello and welcome. Today I would like to talk about and show some problems with SAP and consequently Italian cruisers. I will be playing the uh, upcoming tier 7 Italian cruiser Zara and uh, basically this will show the issue. So first we should go over how SAP works. You should think of it like AP except that it has less penetration power and that it cannot over penetrate. Of course, it can't set that lighter due to the lower penetration power. SAP does hit slightly harder than AP, which means that technically you could deal more damage, but obviously it can't citadel, so AP tends to be more effective when you are able to citadel the ship you're fighting, so let's say lower armor targets. Now the problem with this is that um, when you fire at targets that are angled, or armor plates that are angled, you will frequently get ricochets, and when you hit an armor plate that's too thick, in the case of Zara or any of the other 203 cruisers, if it hits an armor plate that's over 55, 54 millimeters, well, you just get non-penetrations, like I just did. I hit five shells, three were non-penetrations, and two were uh, penetrating hits. So I did two shells worth of damage. In this case, I got two ricochets, one non-penetrating hit, and one penetration. And the problem here is that even though in videos you'll see that SAP can be quite effective, especially against destroyers, the problem is that in real matches, because remember, when you see videos, you see some of the best matches that can happen, or at least half decent matches. Whereas in real matches, you get in situations like I'm in right now. Sure, I did some nice damage to that Indianapolis. What happens when that Indianapolis goes away? The only enemy ships here are the two battleships that are heading directly towards me. Meaning that I will get a lot of ricochets and non-penetrating hits. I will have a lot of trouble dealing damage to those two battleships. They can basically ignore me. And this kind of a situation happens more often than I would really like. With HE it would be fine, I could just hit them with HE and they would burn just like all the other ships and it would be just okay. There would be no issues. However, with the Iowa and the Tirpitz here, that's not the case. In fact, let's just speed this up and so you can see how ineffective it is. It's 15 minutes into the match and we're gonna start shelling. We're just gonna shell SAP against these two battleships almost exclusively. Sure, I'll torpedo as well, but uh, those won't really have much success. And the thing is, these ships aren't really going to shoot back at me, because they can just ignore me. Because there's nothing I can do. Sure, m maybe if I could get on their side, yeah. But to do that, I would have to put my ship at incredible risk compared to other things. And hey, I actually hit the torpedo, which has probably done about as much damage as my SAP has. Because you can see just how ineffective it is. I mean, it's 11 minutes and 30 seconds into the match already. We've been shelling these two ships for three and a half minutes, and I've done basically no damage. And there's still another battleship to go. And she finally went down. So let's take a look at the scorecard at the end. Here you can see 94 main battery hits, 88 SAP shell hits, and the majority of them are on this Iowa and Tirpitz, and I only did 32,000 damage. That's 212 shells fired, hit something like 40-45% of them, and I only did 32k damage. In fact, the Tirpitz only took 11k from me. Sure, the Iowa took 38k, but that includes the 8,000 from the torpedo. This is a real problem for Italian cruisers, because if you were any other cruiser in this situation, you'd just fire HE and you would deal a whole bunch of fire damage and the battleships would go away. You have options in those cases, but then Italian cruisers? Fine, the only option really is to, well, go fight somebody else. And I'm not really sure how to remedy this situation even. It just feels like this is something Italian cruisers will be stuck with due to how SAP works. And that's, I suppose, a negative aspect of them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much, and I hope I'll see you guys next time.